It is the second day of Dogtober, the month where I post the video on both my channels, and all the ad revenue for the month will be donated to a local rescue to help dogs. And today's been a pretty difficult day. Uh, when you have dogs, you have a lot of great years with them. A lot of great years. And there, there's no better companions than a dog. And yes, they can get in trouble. They do stupid things, just like kids, just like adults. But you like having them around. And they make you feel good and... If you're good to them, they feel good. And I believe I've been good to all my dogs, regardless. But now I have a situation I may have to deal with tomorrow. As you know, or you may not know, my oldest dog, Waldo, he's not, he, he just took a, he took a turn. He is just not feeling good. He'll get up, he'll go outside. And then he'll just come in and lay there for hours on end. And I can tell he's having a hard time breathing. And I've watched him where his chest, he's, he's having like spasms in his chest trying to get air. And his, his breathing's not good. And I'm, I'm suspecting congenitive heart failure. Although I'm not a vet, he does have an appointment tomorrow. Couldn't get him in until the afternoon, but he is going tomorrow, and I may have a decision to make, and it's not going to be an easy one. I hope not, but I, and I've been around this enough, it's probably the end of the road for Waldo. And I wanted him to pass away here, and then, but if he's got if he's not breathing good, he's struggling. He's, he's miserable right now. Uh, there's other things that could be a symptom of, but at his age, given his age and he's overweight, I've tried everything to reduce their weight. They just get less active. They, he's, he never had a weight problem until probably the last year, year and a half, because he's not been as active because he's 13. Lily, she's really put the weight on. She's she's not very active at all. And that, that part's my fault for not feeding them better. But there was a time I could not afford the best. Even when I couldn't afford much, I always got them the best brand I could afford. And, you know, it's not that I they eat once a day. You know, but that's, that's beside the point. Just tomorrow I'm going to probably... Uh, if, if that's what it is or something that cannot be fixed, then that's probably going to have to be the decision. And that's going to be the, they're never easy. It depends. It doesn't matter what dog it is. It's never easy, but he has been with me the longest. He's been with me since day one. I have never been without him in this state, you know, in 12 years. I have not been one day with it. Well, there was maybe four days where I went out of town, maybe to Tulsa or somewhere, and had somebody feed him. But that's it. In, in, in 12 years, probably four days, that I have not fed him and took care of him. And on the other hand, if I chose to let him die naturally here at home, how long would that be? How long would he suffer? And then Lily has to witness that. Uh, I don't know how she's how to deal with her once this happens. She's never been without him ever since she was a little puppy. He, you know, she loves Waldo, and it's gonna it's gonna be rough on her. And I don't know what to do with her. I don't want to leave her out there by herself. But she, Rooster will not allow any other dog in this house. Now, I can probably try to work on that. 
but they're both set older dogs and they're both set in their ways and I don't know what this will do to uh, Lily but I could probably bring Rooster into the dog apartment every day and, and see how they do but Lily's uh, I don't know she's unpredictable sometimes <laughs> she's not mean but I just don't know how she's going to react she's older and you know I don't know I, I don't know what to do until it happens but hopefully you know it's something medication can fix I don't know but it's just never easy it's never easy and you can't let them suffer that would that that's not going to happen so chances are good I may not have Waldo after tomorrow. And that's going to be rough for me to make some videos the next few days. But let's not uh let's not let's not go there until I know for sure. So I'm going to prepare myself all day, all night and all day tomorrow until I have to take him. And I don't want to take him because it terrifies him on the ride. I'm going to put him in the older truck because he, it's lower to the ground. I don't have to lift him up so high. And uh, just, you know, he didn't do too bad the last time he went, but he was terrified. But uh, if it's something that can be fixed, then I'm an idiot for not taking him. So I don't want him to suffer. If it's something he can, he can you know, get over, then I'll be glad that I took him. He'll get over it. And just when I think he's is down as far as he can get, he gets up and he goes outside and sits out there and he looks fine. He'll eat a milk bone. And I just fed him and I, I put one of Rooster's dinners in there. I only gave him wet food tonight because he didn't eat his dry last night. And he, he ate Rooster's little dinner, but he wouldn't touch the other stuff, so. Then Lily went over there, scarfed it all down before I could stop her. But I got to, you know, that tells me right there when he's not eating something that's seriously wrong. And, uh, and so I'm just going to spend a lot of time with him between now and then. I think he knows that he's loved. He knows he is. But, uh. I guess that's all I got, and I'll know more tomorrow. Happy trails.